meal planning when i do do i'm um, pakistani we like to stock up oh oh i love this definitely try out this monthly shopping i need to do it anyway i could use all the help i need everyone welcome back hope you all well i just dropped uh fizza to school well not just about a couple of hours ago i dropped her to school it is just home today but she has gone to sleep she's not feeling too great she has like a blocked nose and, and she's got a, like an ulcer on her lip so she's not feeling too great so she's asleep over there while she's gone to sleep that i would get some meal planning done now a lot of you uh like videos like this i thought i need to do it anyway so might as well film it yeah so um this meal planning book from Poundland, if you watched the Poundland, one of my Poundland hauls you would have seen when I got it. I'm just going to be meal planning dinners, not lunch, breakfast and all that stuff. Because breakfast, the girls just choose whatever they want. Lunch, um, they're at school or nursery. So I don't really, they don't really have lunches at home, apart from the weekends and two days that it is home. But also, not only that, because for breakfast and lunch, they kind of just choose what they want whatever they want i'll just make for them but dinners i like that to be set we all eating the same thing and just you know it's easier life what i'm going to do is i have some recipe books here that i'm going to be looking at different recipes because i really want to make different things so i thought i've got a few recipe books here that i'll show you i've also got a few websites that i like getting recipes off so let's start off by showing you the books that i have it's not many books because i do like looking online quite a bit so i i bought this a while ago and i haven't cooked anything from it yet so i thought now is the time is um this nadia's family favorites cookbook so i know there's a lot of stuff in here to cook so i'm going to look through this one first never cooked anything from it i have looked through it and thought oh like it's quite interesting stuff it's like a fusion of like english and um like um asian right i don't know but yeah the meals look quite interesting there so i definitely want to try something from this yeah that's one book nadia's family favorites the next book i'm going to look into is these this easy cook cookbook i got this ages ago probably about 12 years ago i got this book yeah i would say about 12 years ago um so it's just got a lot of easy recipes in there so i thought let me try it i think i've cooked one thing from this before i don't remember what is this oh this is my mum telling me how to make bilal rice ages ago as well and i wrote down the recipe and that's been in here <laughs> that was so long ago this is what i used to do back in the day when i first got married I used to call my mum and be like, Mum, how do you make this? And she would like tell me on the phone and I'll write it all down and then I'll I'll cook it. So yeah. And that's there. But yeah, so I thought I'll uh, get a few recipes from this. So that's this book. It's called The Easy Cookbook, Real Food for Busy People, and it's a BBC book. Next one that I've got is quite a weird one, but basically I have an air fryer, it's the power brand um yeah i've got air fryer and with the air fryer you get this recipe book with it and there's a lot of amazing recipes in there and i haven't tried any of these recipes out at the moment we at the moment i've just used it to like make the girls pizzas and um fish in there and stuff like that but i haven't tried out any of these recipes and that's the whole point why i bought this air fryer to like do these easy recipes so i thought let me try some of these recipes out in there and yeah i'm gonna do it i'm definitely gonna pick quite a few from this probably because i definitely want to do the roast chicken yeah and um yeah so i'm gonna definitely try out this yeah so i'll be making some recipes with my air fryer because it's just easy life so yeah that's the plan and then also if you've been following me for a while you know right at the beginning when i used to show you things that i'm making from cook with me and stuff the main website that i use is this muslim girl bakes love all her recipes always have 
like during Ramadan I use her recipes so much like all her different things I use it so much honestly Ramadan is like her pay her website is always up on the laptop because I'm looking because I like to make different things during Ramadan um I'll also look on Instagram because there's a few people on Instagram um that recipes that I like and I will tell you I'll link everything down below link the websites that I use and I'll link the Instagram scrams that are new but there's one girl that I know and I just mention her there's an one Instagram which she does the best is cook with Zara and if that'll focus cook with Zara and she's got so many like lovely recipes on there so I definitely want to try out loads of her recipes so um oh she's got tacos on here soft tacos <gasps> um mutton chops got a lot of desserts on here which definitely want to try it as well chicken dum masala and chicken pastries, prawn karai, ooh. She's got so many re recipes. So the Instagrams with the different recipes are linked down below. I'll link the websites that I use and I'll link links to the cookbooks. The I think the air fryer I got from Argos. So I'll link that down below as well. And then there's also so many other air fryers out there, like cheaper ones. Because I think my one was um, at the time I got it for um 90 pounds and that's because i had a discount because originally it was 120 it was on sale and then i had a discount code so then i got it even cheaper so i think i got it for 90 pounds but i will i think it is actually 90 pounds at the moment as well on argos let me just check it's a lot more cheap at the moment it's 100 pounds at the moment um 99 99.99 on argos so it's definitely cheaper than what it was back then but i got it for 90 pounds anyway because i had my discounts and stuff because i love a discount but yeah i got the five liter one i just got the big one just when i want to make like big roasts and stuff i can use that but they also have a 3.2 liter one which is 79.99 but yeah i'll leave those links down below to the air fryer that i use but there is other loads of other um brands and stuff and cheaper ones on amazon and stuff so if you just go and search on amazon air fryer i'm sure you can sure you can find a cheaper one with good reviews and stuff anyways let's get to um meal planning so to, uh, basically what i'm going to do is because if you remember this is how it was so over here is the dinner so i'm just going to write all the dinners here and then I might just use these parts to write all the ingredients that I'm going to need and then use it as a tick list sort of thing to see if make sure I've got all the ingredients. So that's what I think I might do. what i've got so far so i've got i've done all the i've done two weeks by the way just two weeks um yeah so i've got uh chicken curry prawn pasta bake black eyed peas and so these two will go for two days so i won't have to cook here but also i won't have to cook here because um this i'm gonna cook on sunday we won't cook enough for the next day so monday i won't need to cook anything and then prawn pasta bake usually pasta i usually do that just to last for one day even if i do make more like extra shark usually takes it for lunch and i usually have it for lunch as well at home so yeah then um black eyed peas curry here black eyed peas or kidney peas like one of those curries i'll make here and then that will make that enough to last for two days as well and then here chicken and mushroom pie and then saturday will be our freezer food day so anything from the freezer sunday i'm going to make aubergine and potato curry and that will be enough to last till the next day and then yeah the second week i've got um aubergine and potato curry which i would have made on the sunday um the lamb palau i've just put this muslim girl bakes because i want to use her recipe for that um lamb palau and i also want to try and make it with a rice cooker 
so hopefully when I do that I will definitely film it and show you if it's a if it works or if it's a fail uh, then here I'm going to do masoor dal which is red lentils with naan here and then I'll do it with white rice and then I'll make enough for the next day which is Thursday and then do white rice on that day the rice cooker obviously and then on Friday I'm hoping to do a, jar a roast a jolly chicken and make that with veg potatoes Yorkshire puddings and stuff because I'm really feeling like that but I've done it for the second week um, I'll probably on this day tell Shaka to go and get the chicken because I like the chicken I don't like to use frozen chicken when I'm doing uh, roast chickens so yeah I'll tell the shark to bring the chicken and then I'll marinate it the night before so the next day is just about sticking it all in the oven Saturday freezer food again just to make life easier the reason I'm doing both all the Saturdays I'll probably do freezer food so I can focus on because obviously the girls are at school and nursery so then Saturdays are kind of spending time together day um we, we can go up hopefully because now we wake like their routines waking up early so the Saturdays they wake up early so we can make it to the farms and just go out enjoy life enjoy autumn um do activities at home make cakes and stuff at home just spend some quality time together Sunday I want to make a beef curry which is in Nadja um the Nadja's cookbook you know the one I showed you a lot so I'm hoping to be able to make that I really want to try it that is the plan obviously not going to be strict on it so over here basically it's just a shopping list of things I need to get for the recipes but also just generally I'm going to use this side as a shopping list when I've got things that are finished at home I know it's finished so as soon as it's finished I'm like oh I'm going to need to buy this on my next shopping trip I'll write it down on this list here even the whether it's, I need it in a recipe or not, I'll write it down there. So yeah, the shopping list, and then there's a shopping list there. This is just basically what I need for these recipes. So I've put that down already there, but that'll be the next week's, the week after. So basically on week one, the end of week one, I'll probably do this shopping. And then this one, I'm going to do my click and collect for hopefully Monday, if I can get a slot. I feel like that's a good idea. You don't need to just use this side just for the ingredients that you need to buy from the shop you can actually just use it for shopping list so when you see okay i've run out of this just write it down i need this in the house even if it's like you need soap or you need um tissue or whatever you just write everything down that you need in your shopping list and then what i'll do is rather than taking this full book i'll just take a picture of it on my phone and then take it with me to the shop and yeah that's yeah basically my meal planning done yeah hopefully i'll stick to it but like i said like there's no rules if i want to like what make this maybe if i want to like make this maybe tuesday and then do the prawn pasta like thursday there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like saturdays will definitely be freezer food um just so i can make sure that i get that day off quality time with my princesses together and hopefully try it in every Saturday to get up the house whether it go to a farm or a park or to my mum's house whatever just that's the plan but yeah so guys that's my meal planning done for the next two weeks so when I do do the when I do do so when I do cook the curries um I plan to cook enough to last for two days so then I don't have to cook the next day so I have a day free to, to like do my editing or filming or um cleaning or whatever and that's why i try to do that and then obviously saturday will be freezer food so i don't need to cook freezer food anything then so i'll have the day to like spend with the girls and do activities with them and just spend quality time with them where they've been at school the whole week yeah so that's my meal planning so far this is the first time i'm going to be meal planning as you lot would know already if you watch my other videos like i haven't done meal planning the plan was once the girls start school and stuff to meal plan and stuff to know what i'm doing so this is my first ever meal planning like all written down and stuff so i don't know how well i'm gonna stick to it i don't know how well it's gonna go like hopefully you um could take a bit of little bit of inspo from my meal planning and it might give you ideas with your meal planning although it is my first time so i don't know how i can give you a lot of ideas if you lot got any ideas for me as well any recipes um 
what's your easy things to cook for dinner like give me that your recipes or links down below like give all that to me honestly i could use all the help i need but yeah wish me luck hopefully it goes well if it works for me i'll let you lot know it was worked for me and yeah hey guys so it's a few days later i think about three four days later from when i did the meal planning i've just got in from collecting my asda order i did a click and collect and i also went Lidl and did a um, bit of shopping so this is kind of like my monthly shopping that i've got done so i've got quite a bit so i did two weeks worth of like food planning so i tried to get everything that i needed for both weeks but the second week i like the stuff that i need fresh like tomatoes and ginger and garlic i haven't got so for next week i'll buy that like fresh when i need it but i got the things which don't go off quickly for the, the meals that i've planned but yeah let me show you what i got let's start off with the freezer stuff as the chunky chock lollies two boxes of waffles my girls prefer these ones over like the as the brand ones and um the little brand ones they like prefer these ones and these ones are a lot more nicer so yeah got two boxes sometimes fizza likes waffles before she goes to school rather than toast or cereal frozen cauliflower I'm gonna cook that one day um in a curry like a potato and cauliflower curry chicken nuggets and then i picked up these yogurts for the girls and i picked up this um i can't believe it's butter this shark likes using this I up these kettle thai sweet chili i think i showed you them before in my like grocery hauls i'm obsessed with these hot bombay mix picked up a charlie deodorant for me um body fragrance whatever you want to call it yeah i just picked it i hardly use these anymore but I, I haven't had one in ages i thought let me just pick one up it's nice to just use sometimes i'll put it like um near the door so before i go out just shh, you know but yeah this one smells nice yeah it's nice very nice tins of tomatoes i got 12 it's basically four four pound at the moment and i you lot know i just use tin tomatoes because i'm lazy and it's just easy life but yeah so i got they only had the plum i like getting the chopped ones but they only had the plum ones left so i just picked them up yeah so they're four four pound so i picked up 12. then i got all these so i got 12 chickpea tins eight red kidney peas tins they're like four four pound as well i'm um, pakistani we like to stock up especially when something's on offer yes our mango pulp basically gonna make a dessert with this soon i'm gonna film it it's in collaboration with my sister so hopefully we'll do that soon so look out for that but yeah i need this mango pulp for it pink's body spray for the husband i got some passata sauce um i like using this on homemade pizzas the girls don't like you know the tomato puree that you get in the tube they i think it's too strong for them so they don't like that so i just use this once you open it whatever's left over you can use it in a curry and stuff and then i got um bisto gravy granules i want to make a roast chicken soon and i had my ones nearly finished that i had so i just picked up some bisto gravy sauce i love this it's so yummy i've got six more chickpeas which i didn't know because basically you know the the chickpeas that i just showed you before and the tomatoes and the kidney peas i actually went inside to asda and picked those up i didn't know but i ordered the chickpeas in the, the click and collect order so got extra anyways it's fine pakistani we stock up and um, picked up just a tin opener just a cheap 50p one because my one's being dodgy so i thought i'd pick up another one hopefully this work sweet popcorn and then i picked up chicken and mushroom pot noodles for the girl for fizza because she loves pot noodles by the way it's chicken and mushroom but these are suitable for vegetarians it's just like the flavoring but there is no actual chicken in there the original curry flavor as well fruit cocktail i'm going to be using this for the dessert i'm going to be making as well up 12 bites these are for the um dessert that i'm making as well strawberry jellies for the girls they absolutely love these burger buns Pick this up for my fizza, salted caramel. I always take one with, with me when I go and collect her from school because she loves eating them. She's always like, Mama, did you bring snacks? So I'll just take this for her and she loves them. Two Madeira cakes. These are for the the dessert I'm making again. So that's what they're for. I bet you're wondering, what am I making? Custard. These are again for the dessert that I'm making. I only need one tin, but it was like two for £1.50, so I just picked up two. Fresh double cream, that's again, that's for the dessert I'm making. Mild British cheddar cheese. Mild British cheddar 
slices. The girls like cheese toasties. Fizza sometimes picks up the cheese and eats it like when I'm making their cheese toasties. So I'm thinking she would like these in sandwiches. So I'm going to try her with these. Um, yeah, so she might like cheese sandwiches with just the slices. Or she might even like eating them by herself. Let's see. Two puff pastries. We've just seen on my meal planning that I'm going to be making chicken and mushroom pie one of these days. I will feel film i will film it for you lot so yeah i'm gonna be making chicken and mushroom pie it's one of my favorite things in the whole entire world so i just picked up ready rolled pastry because i'm lazy all right sweet chili philadelphia spread absolutely love this i'm obsessed with this it's buddy buddy nice i love these um with a like salad sandwich or just on my bread in the morning with egg especially with egg like you put this on the toast and then with your egg oh so especially spinach egg with this on the toast oh my gosh honestly guys it's so yummy milky way um yogurts just i've never got these for the girls before but i thought they can try it love milky way chocolate so if they don't like it it's not gonna go to waste all right and then i picked up rice krispies multi-grain sh shapes for fizza she absolutely loves it, these and they've been finished for a while and she's been asking for them and i was like okay i'll go i'll pick it up pick it up so rice krispies for inage and Fizz, I don't know if Fizz would like them, but Illidge likes them. Her nursery said that sometimes she chooses to eat um, Rice Krispies at nursery and she really enjoys it. So I thought, let me pick that up for her because generally she just eats Cheerios, so something different for her. So I picked that up. Moving on to the little shop. Got some orange juices for the girls. Clover butter for me. I've got the other one as well, but I prefer this one. Baked beans. Another baked beans. Picked up rice pudding. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love it. I shouldn't have it because I'm trying to lose weight, but I do love it. So I can have it as a treat one day. Chocolate chip cookie mix. I think I've spoken about this before. There's not much left there. So I saw the cookies. So I thought, let me just pick up one cookies because I saw, you know, Amy Rose Walker. I watch her vlogs and she used this and made really nice cookies with them. She added like chocolate in them and um, she's like, drizzled over uh, lotus biscoff you know the spread and chocolate dairy milk chocolate it just looks so yummy so i want to try and make it the way she did rice cakes for the girls the girls love rice cakes they don't like the plain ones they like the lightly salted ones so i just picked these up for them rosemary crackers these are so yummy guys honestly guys if you haven't tried this like definitely go and pick it up from lidl and try them they're so nice they're, like I like having them with cheese and my sweetened uh, chilli sp cheese spread would be so nice with this. So they're rosemary crackers. Yeah, they're just a nice little snack sometimes. Some tissue for Fizza. I'd like to her to have a packet of tissue in her pocket when she goes to school. So she can catch it, bin it. No. Catch it. No. Catch it. Bin it. Kill it. Yeah? Catch it, bin it, kill it. Yeah. I think that's it three rolls of foil digestive biscuit and chocolate chip cookies pasta I picked up these muffins for to make like mini homemade pizzas at home for the girls you know i've got the passata sauce and um the grated cheese and stuff so i thought we can i'll get the girls to make it themselves they can make their own like pizza like mini muffin pizzas and put it in the oven and that can be one of their lunches on like one of the weekends Some shortbread fingers cheese and onion quiche i love me a quiche quiche with baked beans and salad oh my gosh I have this one day when my sister comes around and we can have like it together more popcorn I'm lightly salted tortilla chips tortilla yeah tortilla chips this bag is basically just wipes i picked up three packs of these and there's one two three four there's four in a pack so I just picked up three of those. Picked up some sanitary towels. I won't show you those. And I picked up some, oh, I picked up some hand wash. By the way, everything's in stock in Lidl. Like there was a few Facebook pictures that were like, oh, the shelves are getting empty again. No, they're not. They're really not. So calm down people, it's fine. But yeah, picked up some hand wash because we was running low then i always get my fruit from lidl you lot know this a few times i got it from asda and it's just been terrible but anyways so i picked up some bananas strawberries lazy crunchy salad because i 
can't be bothered to cut a salad. So lazy, but yeah. It's just nice to have with your meals. Fun size apples for the girls, they're just easier for them to eat. And some garlic apples as well. Some easy peeler oranges. Fun size pears. Two packets of mixed peppers. A cucumber. Three aubergines. Watermelon. Grapes. My Asda and Lidl shopping haul done. So I've got everything that I'll need for this week. Inshallah, yeah for what I'm gonna cook. I don't need to cook today because we've got chicken curry today which we cooked yesterday, which yesterday was Sunday. So I don't need to cook today, but I've got everything that I'm gonna need for the week. Um, in terms of meat, I've got all the meat that I need for this week and the meat that I'm gonna need for next week, I'm just gonna get Sharku to get that on his way home from work one day. I've got all, ch I've got boneless chicken in the freezer. My mom me up like three packets of boneless chicken from Sainsbury's, you get like, um, halal chicken in a pack for like £3.50 or £4 or something like that so yeah she picked me up three packets of those so I've got enough boneless chicken to last me for a while um, lamb and beef and stuff I'll just get sharker to get that when um, I want to make the meal so like the day before or something like that and yeah other than that I've got everything I need for my two weeks worth of meal planning I was going to do a month but I can't I want to have more time to think about what to make for the third week and the fourth week sort of thing. So I've got two weeks done. Hopefully it goes to plan. Um, and yeah, hopefully it will give you a little bit of help on how to meal plan. I don't know, it's my first time meal planning. It's probably no help at all. Um, I did say before that I want to start doing that to make my life easier in terms of knowing what to cook and stuff for the week or the next two weeks and stuff. So hopefully it goes to plan. Um, I think it will because I've done my shopping now. But yeah. Wish me luck. I'll let you know how it goes if I stick to plan. Some of the stuff I will be like filming a cook with cook with me um, and then putting it up. So you see some of the stuff that I've cooked. Stuff that I haven't put up yet. Like so the chicken and mushroom pie. Probably the lamb pilau that I'm going to make. Yeah I'll film all that and put that up on my channel for you lot. Um, and yeah down below I'll link a few different Instagram pages that I use like cooking for to find recipes and stuff there's there's like two three um that i use on instagram i'll put those down below also i will write the cooking books that i use down below if i can find links to the cooking books i will put links down below as well um and also the websites that i use as well i will put that all down below so all everything that i use to find recipes on and stuff i will put down below obviously some of the stuff I'm not following a recipe it's just following my own recipe or my mum's recipe but yeah I will link that down below I'll also link my mum's channel down below she does cook with me she does do it in Urdu slash Punjabi it's like a mixture of Urdu and Punjabi she mixes it all up um anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video bye, bye.